What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I'm gonna share with you what you need to look for step-by-step step to get the best fitting dress shirt possible. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Darian Wagner, salute. Now when it comes to your clothing, the most important detail is the fit. Thus the saying that goes, fit is king. That goes for pants, jackets, suits, and of course, dress shirts. When it comes to dress shirts, you want them to fit well and be comfortable. You need to strike that balance. And if you pay attention to the six steps we're gonna go through on today's video, you'll be well on your way to striking that balance between a great fit and comfort. So without any further delay, let's go through these six steps of the things you need to look for to get the best fitting dress shirt possible. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, with the dress shirt, you have to strike the balance between fit and comfort. And that's definitely important with the first aspect I want you to pay attention to. You have to have a right fit on that collar. Now when the collar doesn't fit right, here's where a lot of guys get discouraged and feel uncomfortable, especially if that collar is too tight. But it's very simple to make sure the collar fits correctly. First of all, the collar should lay against your neck. It should drape the skin of your neck, but not be restricting or too uncomfortable. Here's what you need to do to make sure the collar is just right. Button up that dress shirt, and then try to slide two fingers into the collar of the shirt in a couple of different places. Around two fingers should slide in very comfortably. If you only can get one finger in or no fingers at all, it's too tight. Anything more than two fingers, the collar is gonna to be too loose and it's going to look sloppy. Now, as we move forward to make sure you're getting the right fit on your dress shirt, we're gonna work our way down. We started with the collar, now let's move on to the shoulders. Now, when it comes to most items that you wear up top, whether it's a jacket, a coat, a suit, or your dress shirt, the shoulder is very important. If it fits correctly in the shoulder, more than likely it's gonna fit pretty well throughout the rest of the item. All you need to do is put the shirt on and pay attention to where the shoulder seam hits. You want the shoulder seams to fall right about where your shoulder ends and your upper arm begins. If it does, you have a pretty good fit. If the shoulder seam starts to creep up above where your shoulder ends, the shirt is too small. If the shoulder seam starts to creep below where your upper arm begins, the shirt is too big. Now, when you're looking to buy a dress shirt that combines all the important elements, I'm talking about a great style, an excellent fit, and it's comfortable, I highly recommend you grab a shirt from a great company like today's video sponsor, WRK New York. What I love about WRK shirts is that they do an excellent job of merging function and aesthetics, giving you a beautifully designed shirt that fits well and is super comfortable so you can wear it throughout the day. WRK Work Resting Karma has a great line of well-designed, aesthetically pleasing, and great fitting clothing. And that definitely includes their dress shirts. Not only the WRK sponsored today's video, they provided all four of the dress shirts you'll see me using throughout today's tutorial. And what I love about WRK shirts, the great designs and the absolutely comfortable fit. And what leads to this comfortable fit is what they're made of. They're a great performance dress shirt. These shirts are designed for comfort. They're a slim fit shirt that is made from lightweight active wear fabric. This performance fabric has moisture wicking, antimicrobial, and non-iron properties. It means these dress shirts are quick drying, helping you eliminate sweat and sweat stains. The antimicrobial properties provide odor control. And of course, the wrinkle resistant properties leads to little or no ironing. Now, not only did WRK New York sponsor today's video, they've got a special deal for the Stylogy family. For a limited time, if you order two dress shirts, you'll get the third one free. Just use the discount code GOODWORK at checkout. G-O-O-D-W-R-K. So if you're looking for a dress shirt that combines an excellent fit, great aesthetics, and is super comfortable, I highly recommend you click the links in the description and check out these great performance dress shirts from WRK New York. Now, as we continue to work our way down to make sure you get the right fit on that dress shirt, we're now gonna talk about an often overlooked area. You wanna make sure you have the right fit in your armholes. 
The armhole fit is important because it can dictate the fit of the rest of your shirt. I'm talking about in your chest, shoulders, and armpits. You want the armhole to be high enough that it fits correctly, but isn't restricting your movement. And there's a very simple test you can do to make sure your armhole is high enough. Simply tuck your dress shirt into your pants. Then raise your arms laterally out from your body. As you raise your arms, your dress shirt should raise about an inch or so from your belt line. If it raises more than that, your armholes are too low. If the shirt doesn't move at all, your armholes might be too high. Now continuing to move downwards on the dress shirt, let's talk about how it should fit in the body. Now when it comes to the body of your dress shirt, you want it to drape nicely against the side of your torso. You want it to fit closely, but not snugly. Here's what you want to pay attention to. Tuck that dress shirt in. You should be able to move around pretty well without any restriction, but you don't want it to be billowy and loose. A great cheat code to make sure you have the right fit of your dress shirt, simply tuck it in and pinch a little fabric on the side of your dress shirt. If you pinch that fabric, you should be able to pinch about two to three inches of shirt. If you can pinch more than that, the shirt is probably too big. If you can only pinch less than two to three inches, the shirt is probably too tight. Moving away from the body of the shirt, now let's talk about how your dress shirt should fit in your sleeves. First of all, let's work from the top of the sleeves down. At the top of your sleeves, the shirt should be a little bit loose, but it should taper down as you get to your wrist. You shouldn't have a bunch of extra material in the sleeves of your shirt, but you should be able to move your arms pretty comfortably. Now let's talk about the length of the dress shirt. The end of your sleeve should fall right around the break of your wrist. And your cuffs should cover your wrist bone. You want the shirt to be long enough to show a little cuff when you have on a suit jacket. If when you put on your suit jacket and you can't see any cuff, the sleeves are too short. Now let's move on to the proper length of your dress shirt. Now this is the area where I'm gonna give you the most wiggle room, except for you don't want the shirt to be short. There's a difference between a dress shirt and a shirt you can wear untucked. A dress shirt should actually be too long for you to wear untucked. Because of the extra length of the dress shirt, it makes it much easier to stay in your pants as you move throughout the day. Once again, here's where you can use the raising of the arm test. Put your shirt in, tuck it. Move around a bit, raise your arms up. Does your dress shirt stay tucked? It's probably long enough. Now when it comes to the length of the dress shirt, I want to emphasize again, it's okay to err on the longer side. Just make sure it's not too long that you have to tuck it into your underwear and it feels like you have a diaper on. So remember, your dress shirt should be long enough that it stays tucked in, but it should be too long to wear untucked.